Hey, what's going on, guys? Donkey here, and welcome back to a little bit more Detroit Become Human. Uh, can't wait to get back into this. We're going to continue on with the story. Looks like we're going to uh, be a Connor. I'm going to play Connor, and like uh, Connor sitting here jamming out, listening to some tunes. Not sure if he really understands what he's listening to, but in any case, let's check it out. So far, this uh, series has just been episodic. It's just, I don't know, crazy. Just crazy. It looks like there's something over there. Yeah, if you end up playing this game, I, I thoroughly recommend scanning pretty much everything. And even things you don't scan, go ahead and walk over to it if you think it's something that uh, you might want to check out. Because you never know. So many unlocks and dialogue options in this game. And generally, I, I take these books and I, I thumb through them just due to the fact that in certain cases it does open up different options um, throughout your your story quest, if you will. Alright, Connor. So Hank's sitting over there on the dock. Sitting on the dock of the bay. That's an interesting merry-go-round. Looks like a kid-friendly merry-go-round. I like the old style where you can fly off of it. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Yeah, I don't know that I'm going to tell him to stop drinking. That may not be a really good option. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Nah, before the death of his kid. Get going, Connor. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. Ah, shit. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? What's this you world already become? Lieutenant? Is it something to do with the, a beer. the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. The reason, cold, I, ironic or rational. Um, I don't want to be cold. Rational would be more along the lines of what I would probably say. It didn't want anything, Lieutenant. It was a deviant. That's all there is to it. Mm. What about you, Connor? I don't know. You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. God 
Damn Nothing it. else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Uh, no doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. I believe your personal issues are clouding your judgment. Oh shit. Uh oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Whoa, man. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. I really wasn't sure how that was going to end. I kept thinking that by the selections I made, I was really screwing up. Though That was a short, short episode. All right, so with all episodes, let's kind of review through the paths that I took. Um, and what opened up the dialogue. So this is called The Bridge. I'm assuming you can die here. I mean, he has a gun pointed at your head. So photo scene in Russian roulette. Because I saw that, that opened up dialogue. So I chose to discuss RA9. Looks like there was another option there. So Hank's going to draw his gun. And you have four options. I chose to show fear to prove to Hank there was something more than just a machine. Assuming that... Um, you select another option predicated on what that option is, you probably could die. Because, look, there are two endings. And, of course, you know, he left Connor alone. Wow. That was pretty intense there. Um, let's look at uh, the status of the game. Public opinion is still skeptical. Software instability is still questionable. Hank's still a friend, and Amanda's still trusted. So, still going down the, the friendly path. Um... I don't like to keep it that way. We'll see how that turns out. But in any case, in any case, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you liked it, please make sure to share the content. It's probably one of the single best things you guys can do if you're watching is to share it. Get the content out there. Uh, hit that like button for me if you, if you really liked it. Maybe leave some comments in the comment section. Tell me what you think about uh, the game so far, uh, what I've played through, and if you have played through the game. Maybe your experiences and what paths uh, you chose and the, the outcome of that. Um, again, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Until the next episode, you guys, peace out.